Hey everyone, welcome back to Garnet Reviews, where today we're looking at a 2019 Rossiter 23. Rossiter has been designing and building boats for over 40 years, and each boat is handcrafted. These are not mass-produced speedboats at all. They share similar designs to the classic Rivas and Chris Crafts that you would associate with the 60s and 70s, but being made out of low-maintenance fiberglass hulls, these yachts are designed to last. I love the shape of the hull, it's got the classic three colour hull with the top side colour, it's got the boot top waterline stripe and then it's got the simulated bottom paint colour as well. If we make our way to the stern, you see we've got the teak bathing platform and as well as a boarding ladder which is ideal for both on the trailer but also if you're in the water, if you're doing skiing, swimming, things like that. There's a solid handhold on the side here so getting back on board not a problem at all. The boat's powered by a 200 horsepower four-stroke Yamaha outboard and this engine has got less than 100 hours on the clock. Gaining access to the main cockpit is easily done. There's a removable starboard side insert cushion and there's a little door that opens here and you can just walk right through. As we step in the cockpit you can see that we've got the seagrass flooring. It's like a vinyl weave with under pattern. Again it's just about low maintenance. We have spacious, comfortable seating for up to 10 passengers. And then you can also see we've got the bimini top overhead as well. On the transom you can see we've got the tow post here. Well, if you're into wakeboarding, water skiing, towing donuts, things like that. And if you're into water activities, you'll probably enjoy being able to rinse off with the fresh water shower on the deck as well. For a boat of this size, I was very impressed with the storage available underneath the seats. These seats slide forward. And then once you tilt forward, you've got a locking unit underneath, and these are watertight compartments. And then as you make your way up to the helm, you'll see we've got the single seat to port, or the double seat to starboard. And the front row seats, they actually bolster up, so if you wanted to stand up, you can use it in like that, or they can fold down and you can sit on them as normal. Once at the helm, you can see this yacht is finished to a very high quality fit and finish. We've got the flush mounted Raymarine GPS, you've got the Yamaha engine instrumentation, you've got trim tabs on board to help with the stability of the boat, you've got a telescopic wheel that you can tilt whether you're sitting down or using it as a bolster, you've got your power trim and tilt for the outboard itself, and then behind that you've got the Fusion stereo system that's a Bluetooth and can connect to your phone for entertaining your friends. And down below this classic day boat does actually have accommodation and some of these boats you can actually fit a head compartment underneath the removable seat and this cabin does have an opening hatch overhead for extra ventilation and the boat does offer a split windshield and this opens up in the middle and that way you can have access to the bow with a built in step on the cabin door as well to make it easier for climbing up and down and you'll notice on the bow itself, there's a handhold right the way down. This makes it ideal if you were looking to get up there for dropping anchor, if you were perhaps beaching this boat and you were looking to get access, or if you were moving up that way to get the boat back on the trailer. And on the port side, we've got a lock and glove box here. And you see as this boat is as new, it's still got all the documentation that comes with it. And I was impressed for a boat of this size, just how easy it was to maneuver around the boat. As you walk through the self bailing cockpit and between the seats and things like that. So if you'd like to purchase this boat, it's a 2019 Rossiter 23. It's got less than 100 hours on the clock. Mark's asking 119,995. And this is a saving on you and it also saves on time as well with new boats being in demand. I'd like to thank Mark again for allowing us the opportunity to take a look at this boat. I appreciate your time and watching it. I look forward to catching you on the next one. Thanks, everyone.